don't even know if I'm allowed to say this on our webinar, but I'm <laughs> going to hopefully try a evaluating resources with a crap test. Um, yes, I think that some of you and, will want to teach this too. <laughs> yeah, one of, one, of the, one of the comments or questions from the audience was, you know, you know, with all the OERs that are out there, how can you, you know, are, are there pros, are there, are there good things or bad things? And I think this might kind of help with his kind of question. What right. What is the crap test? <laughs> the crap test is an actual um, criteria for evaluating all web resources that a lot of library media specialists like to use and a lot of students like to say. <laughs> so uh, basically what it stands for, and it's an acronym for um, looking at a variety of different um, parts of a web resource or any resource, right? You want to look at their currency. How Remember how I talked about that you can get things that are much more current uh, than maybe, you know, textbooks that you have? Um, so you look at the date, you know, when was it actually created and, and when was it actually um, out there? So how current is it? How relevant is it? You know, sometimes you'll find something that's on that topic, but it has absolutely nothing to do with what your learning objective is. So you want to look at the relevance. So those are the, the, the C and the R. Now, the two A's are probably the most, well, I'll give the P2 a lot of, lot of importance. The authority, who wrote it? Where's it coming from? And that actually has a lot of questions about it. So is it coming from a reputable source? Um, is it, um, you know, with the whole uh, conversations out there about fake news and how do we teach, you know, students news literacy and even adults news literacy, authority is really, really important. So where is it coming from? So you really want to look at, is it um, a, a reputable um, organization? Um, oftentimes, um, you know, you'll see you know, places like Khan Academy that, that have things out in all these OER repositories, we know where that's coming from. So you know the authority of it. So you want to know who wrote it. Is it a, a professor with, um, you know, they, they've done a lot of research and this is their expertise, or is it a student that just wrote something and is up there? It's not going to be in the OER repository, by the way, but that's what we look at is in terms of um, the, the author um, and the authority. The accuracy is also important, and I think you just need to take a look at it from your expert uh, point of view is, is it accurate? Are you finding things in it that are really not quite, you know, factual? Um, and then what's the purpose? Because in, um, in evaluating um, any kind of resource, sometimes you'll get a resource that it's pretty good, but there's a bent to it, there's a bias to it because it's coming from, um, you know, I, basically, you know, if it's an, it's an organization that um, has a particular point of view, for example, they're going to have that purpose in mind. So you want to think about CRAAP as part of your evaluation as you're going through your resources. The other things um, that because this is online, you're going to also want to consider the text specifications of it. Just in case it's one of those things where it, it asks for flash or, you know, something where it's not going to work on whatever devices your students have, right? You want to make sure ahead of time that that's the case. 